Hello, my friend. Hey, guys. We are, as we always say, going on another adventure. <laughs> that is what we do. That is what we do, and we love it. Yep. So this time we're heading up to uh, Fort Clinch State Park. It and is. you tell directions because I don't, I don't know. <laughs> She's not good with the whole northeast. No. <laughs> so it's in the very northeast corner of Florida. Like um, right at the Florida-Georgia border. It's literally a stone's throw away from Georgia. Yes. And uh, we've been wanting to camp here for a long time, but it's really challenging to get into. And Because Amy, it's just a busy park. I mean, yeah. it's very popular. Very popular. But Amy made it happen. Of course they made it happen. So, like months ago. Oh, 11 months to the day. There you go. <laughs> so here we go. Off to Fort Clinch. And uh, we have our mountain bikes on the back of Mo. Um, there's lots to do in the park. So mountain biking. And they do say that at low tide, you can actually ride your bikes on the beach. On the beach. So hopefully we're going to do that. Skylar is uh, at the dog sitter having fun. We've already gotten texts of her running around <laughs> playing with other dogs. She has more fun there anyway. So, all right, but it's a long drive for us, so yes. we will see you guys when we get there. All right, guys. All right, we finally arrived. We're in site 44. This place is beautiful. Look at these big trees. This is our site. There's a lot of space in between, um, in between sites, but oh my goodness. Can't wait to explore. And the bathroom is right across the street. So get unpacked and enjoy this evening. First things first, we had to set up our fans because these bugs are so bad. No CMs and gnats everywhere. All right, so we have a special treat tonight. We do. We do. We're going to go out to dinner with some friends, uh, Frank and Ellen from Outdoor Observations. They live up this way, and they're the ones who told us about this this Fort state Clinch, park. We would have never come up here if it wasn't for them. Right. So, and so, it's beautiful so far. So far, so good. So we're going to go out to dinner, so no cooking tonight. No. And, uh, you get off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. No. <laughs> restaurant that didn't have an hour and a half long wait. It's and crazy. you have to speak up because we don't have our microphones on. We found a restaurant. <laughs> so we're uh, again here with Frank and Ellen. Frank and Ellen, food. they're the ones who make us uh, the breakfast when we're camping. Yes, so. biscuits and gravy. Yeah, that's what you're famous for now, Ellen. <laughs> so, so we're all having burgers. We are having burgers. Hey, good morning, everybody. It is breakfast time. And this morning we made a, a chorizo skillet, which is chorizo and potatoes and cheese and peppers and onions, all that good stuff. And it's really good. So um, we did start a new series called Meal or Camping Meal Prep and Cooking. Um, so go check it out and uh, you get to see how we made this meal. So far we've had a lot of fun making the videos. And uh, so we're going to eat some breakfast and then we got a big day here at Planet Fort Clinch. So come along with us. All right, guys, we are at the uh, Fort Clinch Visitor Center and yes. the, the fort. The fort. The, there is actually a fort at Fort Clinch. So we're, we'll learn a little. We don't know anything about it, really. No. So we'll try to give you a little bit of history. Some background. <laughs> so it is $2.50. <laughs> Almost broke the bank. Almost to, broke the bank. Uh, to enter. And uh, now we're coming through the, the museum. Museum. Pretty cool. I like museums. This is where we're going to learn stuff. Here's the guy. That is the guy, General Duncan Lamont Clinch. Lamont? That Gatling gun, that's cool. So it's pretty cool, right? This fort was built in like... Uh, 1850, I think. Yeah, and it actually was held by the Confederates and the Union during the Civil War, but its last official military use was actually during World War II. They actually had a kind of outpost here for monitoring communications and stuff. 
All right, All welcome right. to the Fort Clinch. Fort entrance. Oh, Amy, uh -oh. There's, there's no running or horseplay. <laughs> <laughs> now what are we gonna do? Children must be accompanied by an adult. Well, <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna we, do. We have no adults. <laughs> This is cool. It says, imagine you are stepping into the past. The, years, the year is 1864 and the Civil War is in progress. Ahead of you is a masonry fort under construction. Union soldiers are involved in the building of the fort. Ask them questions about the lives they led stationed at Fort Clinch. Follow the path into 1864. That is super cool. We are now in 1864. <laughs> We were wondering what this was, and we realized it's the prison. It's the prison because I don't know what gave it away. Maybe the bars. The bars. <laughs> yeah, we knew we'd end up here sometime. <laughs> That's right. We just didn't realize it'd be this prison. Wow. Hey, by the way. What? You know who that is? Oh yes, that's you, Grant. You listed us Grant. Joel's related. I'm related to that guy right there. Cause some great lineage <laughs> flowing through these veins. Oh look at this is. The actual jail jail. Whew. I wonder what they did in that tub. It says drunkard, thief, maybe they wear signs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's like the dunce cap. <laughs> These are the enlisted men's barracks. Not they don't sure. look that much different than the jail <laughs> ones. <laughs> Except they don't have bars. <laughs> and no shackles. Pretty cool though. And backgammon. Did they really have backgammon back uh, then? Apparently. Huh. All right, we're up at the top. Pretty cool up here. And I think that's Georgia over there, right? Uh, that I is, yeah, there, that's Georgia across that channel. That is Georgia. It's pretty neat up here. I just can't imagine being here like, you know, back in the Civil War. Right. And there was no action here. There was never a battle fought here, so. Is it, we've never been to a fort where we... <laughs> where there was actually a battle fought. Right. Right, but this would not be a bad place to be stationed. So here, are the, I think they call them guns. They didn't really call them cannons back no. then, I don't think. But you can see they can swivel, and there's actually like maybe... Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know if it's degrees. Probably not degrees, but this help you aim. Right. And yeah, they would definitely take out anything in that channel. That's right. All right, it's pretty cool. So as you go around, you look at different forts, they typically build, like Fort DeSoto, we love um, this place. They build with the materials they have. So if you look at this, all those materials, oyster, you know, and they've, they've used other substrate or cement. Oh, there, there you go. There you go. But look at all these oysters that are kind of the basis for this, this structure. Pretty That's cool. pretty cool. They built with what they had. Not quite sure where this goes, but look at this. It's a very cool tunnel. Dark tunnel. Ah. <laughs> Don't be afraid, Amy. All you see is our shadows. Pretty cool. back down the stairs. <laughs> These are some steep stairs. They are, and they're they're dark, and they're kind of tight and They're very twirly. narrow. <laughs> I gotta watch Amy and watch my feet. Oh, watch your own oh, feet. Oh, Lord. 
My uh. feet are too big for this. Mm. <laughs> Woo. Definitely is Steep. a little tight. Holy cow. Don't, you've got your flip-flop. I do have my flip-flop. <laughs> I knew I should have worn my tennis shoes. <laughs> Made it in one piece. All right, we did. What do you think, Amy? Pretty cool? That's pretty cool. Yes. All right, this looks like the powder room. The powder room. Well, this looks like it might be the toilet. <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> Laundry. Making some candles. This laundry room. Mm-hmm. So, so this was created in the 1850s, right? Uh, well, 1847, they okay. started construction. Okay. Two, two years after Florida had enough population to petition for statehood. Okay. So Florida became a state in 1845. And the idea was, okay, they're in the Union, and we have to protect them. And uh, it's a seaport. Yeah. Here, and Fernandina is a very important seaport on right. the Atlantic, so they decided let's build a fortification. Uh, we're getting a twofer here because we've got uh, not only uh, Fernandina down the Amelia River, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we've also got St. Mary's up the St. Mary's River, St. Okay. Mary's, Georgia. Okay. All right, that was a really cool visit of the fort. Fort Clinch is really cool, as, is. as Amy said. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. Right. It, uh, it's not a huge fort, but it's a pretty cool fort. Mm-hmm. Right on the water. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful views. and Definitely recommend you come look at it. If I had to be a soldier back in the Civil War, this is where, where I'd want to be. you want to be. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> we got drumsticks. <laughs> we did. <laughs> All right, we are just investigating the park a little bit and wanted to show you, they have about 20 sites that are um, right on, they call them what, beach sites, I think. And uh, there is no shade whatsoever over here, but look at this, they are right on the water, more or less. Okay, this is what the river campground loop looks like. Much more wooded, shaded, yeah, shaded, shaded yep. Secluded. That's right. There's a lot of division between sites too, I think. Some yeah. of them are pretty small, like this one's pretty small. Yeah, but our site, there's a lot of uh, foliage between us and our neighbors. We're back at the campsite and we've got a couple hours till our next activity. So we are setting up our hammocks, our portable hammocks. Amy told me I was allowed to set hers up. <laughs> she is I, so I, considerate. I did. <laughs> so here I am setting up Amy's hammock. He's such a good boy. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So we're going to relax a little bit for now and before our next little nappy nap. Yep. These caterpillars are just everywhere on our site. Kind of cool looking. All right, guys. I told you we were going to do something fun this afternoon. And Swim we line. are. Yes, we are going to hop on our bicycles. Yep. And we're riding our bikes to dinner. Yep. And it's going to be, uh, I don't know, we're three to four miles. We're not quite sure. And it's going to be part road and part beach. Part beach biking. Beach biking. Yes. So we're going a little early. Um, it's like four o'clock. One to beat the crowds because it is the end of like spring break and there's people <laughs> well, everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, but also because it is low tide on the beach. Right. And so the beach to be able to really have that really compact, you know, sand, mm -hmm. you need to- Low tide. Go low tide. So early dinner and uh, we're gonna go sweat a little bit and then have some food and then- We are gonna sweat a little bit. It's a little hot. So we're gonna head down to uh, Main Beach. Right, which is a cool thing about this campground is it's like, by car, five minutes from all sorts of stuff. Yeah. By, by bike, it's like four hours <laughs> at our it speed. It won't take an hour. <laughs> no, it won't. All right, let's go. See ya.
Okay, we just made it to the beach. We went 2.3 miles. Uh -huh. It was uh, all pavement though, so that was the, the easier <laughs> part. So there's a long walk on the boardwalk here that we have to walk the bikes. And then there's a... Uh, so like sugar powder sand and yeah. then the hard back stuff. All right, we're gonna so. get some water first. Now comes the soft sand, Amy. I know. Soft sand. And to keep our shoes from getting <laughs> sandy. Yes, that would be good. Okay. All right, we have made it through this soft oh, sugar we sand. We did make it through. <laughs> Just barely, by the skin <laughs> of our teeth. Very windy out here. Mm -hmm. This jetty is pretty cool. So pretty out here. It is gorgeous. Nice cool breeze. There's no houses on this uh, stretch no. of the beach. Kind of pristine. Beautiful. It ended up being 5.1 miles, but yeah. the end was just not as... It was not very compact. No. I'm not saying it was quicksand, but... It felt like quicksand. <laughs> I turned around and she was like 200 yards behind me. <laughs> so now we are here with our friends Frank and Ellen again. Yay. Say hi. We just can't get enough of them. We are at um, the sandbar. Is that where we're at? There you go to eat dinner, so. And the beach is right there. I think I might need a beverage first. Uh -huh. That's the beach. Cold See? beer sounds good. Right? <laughs> All right. Whew, good job. Right. Good job, Amy. All right, we had a great dinner with our friends. Yes, we did. We ate way too much food. I know, and now we have to bike back. <laughs> so it ended, I don't know if I said it was 5.1 uh, miles on the beach side. We're coming this, this way, This right. time we're actually gonna go up um, about a block and a half or so and then hit that's, the road. That's the, yeah, but about a block and a half is the entrance to the park. Yeah. So it's close and then it'll just be cement. Uh, Three miles, they say. Yep, so, uphill. Up. <laughs> Uphill against the wind, yeah. through the snow, <laughs> right, you <exactly>. know. <laughs> All right, we will see you back at the campsite. <laughs> All right. That was kind of nice. That was only about a block and a half. Yeah. We were worried that we wouldn't get here in time before they closed the gate, and we didn't have the combination with it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> but we made it in time. We saw this little overlook, so we just decided to stop. Little it's gorgeous. Detour. Yeah. It's uh, some salt marshes. Man, it's beautiful though. It is. I think it's really low tide. Yeah, it's all mud instead of water. Uh -huh. But just imagine there's houses over there. Just... There's a lighthouse over there too. Oh, look at that. If it's not raining tomorrow, maybe we'll go over there. It's a good idea. Yeah. Cool. It'd be nice to be here for uh, sunset, but. Right, but we have to get back to the campsite. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be dark. <laughs> it will be. <laughs> So it is almost sunset and there is a little fishing dock on this pier that's right at the end of our camping loop. It's like, I don't know, 50 yards from our campsite. So we're trying to make it to that little dock and uh, watch the sunset. Hurry, Joel, hurry. I can only go so fast, Amy. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay, I'm the one slowing us down. <laughs> so hopefully we'll catch the sunset. Set. We did, but it's a little cloudy. It's cloudy. So we're not gonna see much, but it's 
still pretty out here. And we still made it in time. <laughs> Mission accomplished. We busted our butt on those bikes. Super cool. And we're back. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. I heard Amy talking like, what? <laughs> She's like, back at last. Back at last. Three point, right at four miles. So it was a lot quicker coming back than it was going out. Yeah, four miles on the way back, 5.1 on the way out. Yeah. It was fun coming back. There's it actually was. Some pretty good downhills too. Yeah. So it was fun. All right. I'm here. She's right there. <laughs> now we're going to, uh, I think, take a quick shower. Yeah. And then um, sit at the fire for a little bit. Perfect. Probably say good, gonna say good night for now. Good night for now. And we'll see you guys in the morning. Hey, good morning, everybody. So uh, I've got no microphones, I've got no GoPro, just me and my phone. Uh, came out to do a little fishing this morning, and uh, as you know, Amy and I are big, big proponents of leaving places better than when you found them. So uh, I was fishing this morning, didn't catch anything, except for I caught garbage. So I've got, uh, what do I got here? I got a shoe, and I've got a Monster Energy drink can, and I've got some plastic bags, so, Taking them back and we're going to toss them in the trash can. Good morning, guys. Hey, good morning, everybody. So Joel's already been out fishing this morning, but uh, yes. I just got up. We're going to try to go um, out again today a little bit, but yep. it's, um, it's supposed to be a rainy day, so we're not quite sure what it's going to do. A little windy, so we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll play it by ear. If we just relax, that's okay, too. But first, we got to make some breakfast. Yep, so we're going to make so. some English muffins and some bacon and egg and cheese and... All that good stuff. Yum. And hot sauce. Don't forget the Don't hot sauce. Don't forget the hot sauce. <laughs> All right. All right. Egg's almost done. Give it some cheese, Joel. It's going to rain cheese. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's raining cheese. Hallelujah. <laughs> You're too funny. Perfect. So we just saw this uh, police guy on a on a, like an ATV four-wheel uh -huh. thing. Uh -huh. And we saw him yesterday driving on the beach. I'm like, I want that job. <laughs> so I stopped him. He was stopped. And I was like, my husband wants your job. Right. And he says it's the best Pretty job much. ever. Uh. <laughs> but here's the problem. Look, look, look at him. Oh, yeah. what? Oh, yeah. People leave their stuff. Well, we'll get it on the way back. All right. So we don't have to carry it. So we're going to walk down this uh, beach here. And Joel says he found a cool place. I did. And, uh, well, it was a cool place, but it looks like it's underwater now. Oh, so there's a spot that like these trees come out, and like we can hang our hammocks there where there are hammock stands, but it looks like it may be underwater because the, tide the tides are tides. Yeah. yeah, so we're just gonna do a little walk right now yeah. and walk along the beach and kind of just explore a little bit. Yeah. This was a spot Joel said was really cool, but it was at low tide this morning, <laughs> not anymore. Not so, so much. How are you gonna get around that? I can't go around, so we're going up and over that tree. <laughs> All right, go for it. Uh, uh, you may have to help me. A lamb to slaughter. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. <laughs> Don't poke your eye out. I... <laughs> okay, Amy's gonna try to traverse this. The second one. This second log. I'm not as talented as I used to be. Oh, I think in my great. maneuverability. Look at you. <laughs> I'm like a cheetah. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> so we're gonna try this little nature trail to the West Inlet parking. Mm -hmm. No idea where it goes. No bikes. Just hikers. Well let's go. Let's just see Come what on. it is. So somewhere way down there you can see the canopy of our site. Yes. And this trail runs right behind the campsites. Yeah. So we were at our campsite last night looking up this embankment uh -huh. to this trail. And everywhere was fireflies. They were everywhere. I think they're lightning bugs. Yeah. Amy says, no, they're not. They're lightning bugs. I'm like, no, they're not. They're fireflies. <laughs> so, we do realize they're the same thing, but people right. call them different things. Fireflies. So, lightning bugs. So if, if you have a preference, leave it down below. We're going to do a poll. We want to know what you guys think. Is it lightning bugs? Or is it fireflies? I don't know. Fireflies. We'll see who wins. This guy. <laughs> we are very pleasantly pleased with this trail. Pleasantly pleased. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually a really nice trail. Got undulating little hills and nice little canopy. 
That parking lot brought us to a boardwalk to the beach. There we are. And we are literally in like yeah, the, the footsteps of the forts right the there. Fort. Yeah. Water's really rough today. It is windy. Yeah, no swimming over here, but. Yeah, between the, uh, the wind and the current. <laughs> Woo! Hey guys, we have a change in plan. Literally a fork in the road. So we were just sitting around this afternoon and really didn't have anything else going on. And we looked at the weather and it's Doesn't supposed look... to be rainy today, tonight. Tonight, tomorrow morning. And cooler. So we're just wimps and we don't want to tear down in the rain. So we work harder, not smarter. Yeah, <laughs> but, but, but tearing down when it's cold and rainy. It's just no fun. Right. So we're going to pack up. Quickly. Quickly. We're going to see, we're going to see this. If we can I'm make a record. setting my stopwatch. <laughs> and uh, then we got a long drive home. So we just thought we'd say goodbye now. This for, is it. And, uh, but I love this park. Yes. This Fort Clinch is uh, it's really big. amazing. It's, yeah, it's really nice. Campgrounds are great. Bathrooms are top notch. <laughs> That's very important. Yes. So um, we'll definitely be back. We yeah. just. Uh, time to go now though. Time to go now. So yeah. if you enjoyed our adventure. Please leave a comment, bloop, bloop. Subscribe. like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and uh, we'll catch you on our next adventure. We've got some stuff coming up, so you'll see us soon. Yeah, we'll, right. we'll catch you guys on our next adventure. All right, see ya. Have a glorious day.